This is the 10th brightest star in the night sky, a star that has been observed for thousands of years by ancient humans. You've most likely seen this star in the night sky, but you never paid attention to it. This star that's very well known is called Betelgeuse. If you haven't seen Betelgeuse, make sure you go see it, because astronomers say that this star will explode in the near future. This star is 500 light years away from us. But even with that, it's still bright in the night sky. And the main reason is that this is not an ordinary star. This is a red supergiant, which is a lot hotter, brighter, and bigger than a normal star. When an ordinary star gets near to the end of its life, it gets bigger and bigger and turns into a red supergiant. It's at the end of its life, but that's compared to the age of the universe, because it still has tens of millions of years left to live. Our sun is gonna go through the same stage in a few billion years, and when it turns into a red supergiant, it's going to get so massive that it will eat up Earth's orbit in the solar system. But let's go back to Betelgeuse. Astronomers say it is true that this star has turned into a red supergiant, but how do they know that it's going to explode in the near future? Scientists and physicists believe that this has been a red supergiant for so long that any day now it will go through a supernova. It could be a few years or maybe even this year. They really don't know. So that means in our lifetime, we could pretty much see a live supernova happen. This is not only very cool to visualize, but it's actually very cool for science because they can figure out a whole lot of new things they never knew about space and how the laws of physics work. But this will get them there. When a star explodes, it's called a supernova. And this is the first time that we can use modern technology and modern instruments to look at a supernova happen live. The last time this happened in the history of humans was in the year 1052. This is when a star named SN 1054 exploded in the night sky and went through a supernova. And the thing we know is that in every single culture all over the planet, there is a writing about this event. It was written about in China all the way to the Aztecs in modern day Mexico. They said the star was so bright that you could see it during the day next to the sun. The light stayed in the sky for about two years, then it disappeared. Scientists didn't know what this was, but eventually in the 20th century with modern equipment, they exactly found the location scientists were writing about a thousand years ago and realized that a supernova happened in this location because they can track a nebula that it left behind. That's why it's called the SN1054 or supernova and the year it happened, 1054. But SN1054 is nothing compared to Betelgeuse because that was 6,000 light years away. But Betelgeuse is only 500 light years away. And that means when this goes through a supernova, it's going to be much more brighter in our night sky. We have to be expecting it to happen soon, and it will change our sky for a little bit. Let's look at the size of Betelgeuse. If you want to compare it to our sun, it's 1000 times wider than our sun. And that means if you put it in the solar system where our sun is located, it will eat the orbit of Jupiter. That's how massive it is. What's the fuel of a star? It's hydrogen and helium, and the sun is the same. Under extreme pressures and temperatures, these atoms turn into heavier elements. And it is this process that makes this star bright and have a lot of heat. It's not actually on fire. Eventually, the hydrogen and helium in the core of a star will run out. And that means the fuel has run out. So it starts expanding slowly and turning into a red supergiant. And after millions of years, a supernova will take place. So what will this event do to planet Earth? 
Thankfully, it's not a negative one. The only effects are positive because you will see a bright sky and some may say it's beautiful. Eventually, after a few years, everything will finish because that bright star will turn into a nebula, basically the corpse of a star, but it's a beautiful corpse. But the brightness is so low that you won't see it with a naked eye. Supernova is a very important event in the universe. It is supernovas that created life. Just like we said, hydrogen and helium is the fuel of a star. And under extreme pressures and temperature, they turn into heavier elements. One of those heavier elements is what? Carbon, the most important element in life. But after the supernova happens, carbon is only one of the elements that gets scattered throughout the universe. There are many other elements, elements like lead, iron, or gold. Another weird fact about Betelgeuse, just like we said, is about 500 light years away. So that technically means if we're going to see the supernova in our lifetime, this star has already exploded hundreds of years ago, and we are just waiting for the light to reach us. Scientists say a supernova will be dangerous to human life on Earth if it's less than 150 light years away, because the radiation they give off could be very deadly to us. A supernova radiation less than 150 light years away would put a negative effect on our atmosphere. And scientists believe about 2 million years ago, when a mass ice age happened, it was because of a recent supernova that destroyed our atmosphere and created a very long ice age. Our sun will eventually go through a supernova, but it's still way too young. So in the near future, we're gonna see something beautiful in the sky. It's going to be with us for a couple or a few years, and scientists will get a lot of information on how a supernova actually happens because they're going to witness one live. Scientists say when this explodes, it will for sure be the brightest star in the night sky. We'll just have to wait and see.